Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Neon White. Last time we left off, I believe I poised the question of what the hell happens if I go and talk to Violet now after she stabbed me? And I would like to see the answer to that, so let's see. Ha ha ha! Beg all you want, White, but I'm not giving the page back. I stole it fair and square. Wow, okay, that's <laughs> not what I expected. I mean, at least they comment on the fact that you did stab me, but yeah. Okay, here, so you stabbed me yesterday, here's a gift. Enjoy, I guess. Some of the comments, uh, like, was, was like, uh, jeez, what was the comment? I'm gonna butcher it. It was like, uh, hey, so I know you stabbed me yesterday, but, uh, I found this gift I thought you might like. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Why? I bought you a little present. I remembered you telling me how lame your room was, so I brought you a lovely bouquet to brighten up the place. It's a bomb, isn't it? Isn't that nice of me? Uh, Those are weeds. What? No, they're dandelions. Same thing. Well, 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 who cares? They're pretty, aren't they? Plus, you can blow on them like this. Wait, Wait no, you're gonna get all those seeds everywhere. Phew. Damn it, Violet. You did this on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What? What's going on? Oh my God! Were they? Were they? Were they laced with LSD? What is this? I I don't know. It's like everything's melting. Holy crap! Is this because of those dandelion seeds? I'm scared, White. Me too. It's like my whole body's turning in the sand. No way! Let me see. Whoa. You're, like, really close. Your hair is so soft. Was it always like this? Holy crap, yours is too. This is crazy. Wait, feel my cheeks. They're like dough. Are you sure? Green. Yeah, touch them. Touch them, green. <laughs> oh god, it's so awkward. Stop. Stop. Cease. Stop it, white. <laughs> Uh, did you just call me green? What? Ah, get off me! Oh god. Whoa, so, sorry, that was really weird. Oh god. Oh god! You two almost did the dirty while you were on drugs in White's room and you were saying green! <laughs> um, do you... If you say anything about what happened here today, I will disembowel you on the spot, you hear me? Well, you already tried, you just stabbed in my chest area instead. Bye! Crap, should've asked her if you could find more of those flowers. Dandelions did that to you? I'm going with the laced with LSD idea. <laughs> yeah, haha. Ha. Here you go. Your final gift, and we get a memory with you. Oh wait, no, I don't think that's enough. Yeah, no, it's not enough. I need more gifts. Okay, that makes sense. It is the final thing and all that. As if things couldn't get any worse, I noticed a scuff on my boot this morning. Wow. It's rough for you, huh? It's pretty it's pretty awful. I got stabbed, but yeah, I mean a scuffed boot's pretty pretty rough too. Alright. Insights. Dialogue. Let's go. I'm gonna head back to the bar and play some pool. I love pool. Maybe later. No, I'm getting bored of pool. Let's play a different game. Something like I was about to say, truth or dare. What? Like the stupid kids game? No way. What's the matter? Scared I'm going to beat you? Of course not. You can't even win in truth or dare. That's what you think. Look, if it'll make you happy, then fine. I'll start. Of course you can win in truth or dare. You dare like someone you like to kiss you and then, and then bam. Maybe they like you too. And then you hit it off. Otherwise, it's just like a non-consensual kiss, which is like, whatever, but that's weird. But, um, hey, maybe you secretly like each other, you know? I don't know. I'll, I'll abandon this line of thought. Look, if it'll make you happy, then fine, I'll start. Truth or dare, Red? Truth. Or you could find out some nice secrets about someone, you know? With truth? Ugh, see, this is what I mean. Hmm. Is there a problem? Yes, yeah, so people always choose truth. Yeah, truth or dare fails the game because powers will only pick truth and skirt through a game completely avoiding dares. Which is stupid because dare is the only option that makes the game interesting. 
That's not true. If you ask the right questions, truth can also be very interesting. I don't buy it. If I'm gonna keep playing, you have to promise you'll pick Darrow on your next turn. Okay, fine, you big baby. Now ask your question already. All right. Who's your ideal boyfriend? That's your question. Can ask whatever I want, can I? Silly boy. You lack finesse. You could have just asked straight up if I had a crush on you. Shoot. Uh, okay, yeah, I changed my question. Too late. My ideal boyfriend is a lion man who is also a prince. <laughs> he whisked me away to his kingdom, where he provides me with luxuries beyond my imagination. Also, he has a six-pack. <laughs> I mean, fair. That sounds okay. <laughs> uh, have you considered playing a game, a fighting game called Red Earth? Because I believe there's a character in there that would interest you. What the hell? My turn. Truth or dare? Since I'm not a coward, dare. <laughs> I dare you to kiss a believer on his bald head. You're trying to get me killed or something? Wow, well, I guess all that coward talk was for show. Uh, fine, I'll show you. I'll kiss that head so good. That's the spirit. I'll French it a bit, maybe. There goes nothing. What in heavens? Ew. Why does your head taste like that? Get back here, you hooligan. Ah, this is so humiliating. Okay, I did it. Now. I dare you to kiss me. Red! Red- Where'd you go, Red? Up here. What? Get back down here so we can finish our game. Sorry, White. I would, but I've already won. Damn you, Red! <laughs> okay, I mean, that went about how I thought it was going to go. Once again, it's very, very easy to, to get White. White is very gullible. All right, new mission. You are back. Don't act so. Happy. Let's see. Well, look at you. Mm -hmm. A heavenly delight ticket. Thank you. Ah, there you are. Good to see you up on your feet. Ready to face Mikey's wrath? I took that hit all by myself. Thank you very much. Filled him in while we were patching you up. You were out like a light, you know. It was kind of scary. Wait. Did you guys see my junk? Why in the hell would we see that? It's nowhere near where you got stabbed. Just making sure. <laughs> Jeez. We nursed you back to health and all you can think about is your thing. Sorry. Sorry. I really am thankful. You guys fixed me up good. It was no worse than a paper cut. Good. Because with the page gone, we've got to revise our strategy. Mikey had some not so great ideas he wanted to share. What if I told you that I've got a game changer up my sleeve. Oh, then by all means, please steamroll Mikey in there. Game changer, eh? So, I think I talked to God. Yeah, I was wondering if that was gonna be the game changer or blue, we don't know yet. This is your game changer? They're doomed. I know how it sounds, but while I was knocked out, I had this vision. Of the Lord. Yes, exactly. Well, that's what he said, at least. I didn't actually see him. Here's the point where White becomes a born-again Christian. Oh yeah? If it was really God, then describe his voice to me. I... I can't. It was indescribable. But he took me to a busted up temple in the sky with a big old cross stuck in it. Sounds like the third temple. Third temple? Where God used to reside before the believers took over and wrecked the place. It's been sealed up since to prevent trespassers. I would have remembered if we saw something like that on their missions. Maybe White's not crazy. Yeah, no crap. So you're telling me the big guy really spoke to you? Did he ask about me? Uh, no. He just showed me that temple and told me I could find the Book of Life there. But... The third temple was so thoroughly looted during the war. There's no chance in hell the book wouldn't have been uncovered. I don't know what to tell you. I didn't believe any of it at first, but when I woke up, I felt myself being pulled in the direction of the temple. Even now, when I close my eyes, I can see the path. Well, then it's settled. That's God's word. You gotta heed it. I wonder if I'll get the chance to talk to God too. Maybe when this is all over, we can all sit down and have a drink with the guy. Ooh, that sounds fun. What's God's drink of choice, Mikey? Enough of this blasphemy! 
Get out of my office and find that book before I smite you all myself. Well, I mean, Jesus turned water into wine, so maybe wine? I don't know. All right, time to go do my heavenly delight. Welcome. Would you like to redeem it? So where are we at on the prize board, actually? Here's what you can earn with heavenly delight tickets. Okay, so we did barbecue, diamond, fun. What is fun? Scrabble? Spa. Okay, so I thought this was going to make more sense to me, but I'm confused. We went to the beach. We haven't played baseball. I don't remember getting a... Oh, wait, that was the mine. Yeah, okay, we did do the mine. What about fun? Don't remember what fun was. So I guess baseball and then the sword is all that's left. Might not be. Would you like to redeem it? Let's go ahead and redeem it. Alright, baseball, let's go. Goodness. Would you look at that, White? You've already reached the penultimate reward. Good. Pretty over these so-called delights. Nonsense. You just need something to rev up your spirits. Something like the traditional sport of heaven, baseball. <laughs> Traditional? How old do you guys think baseball is? Baseball has always existed in heaven. No enough questions. We must get moving or the game will begin without us. Uh, us? Of course. You can't spell baseball without the believers. Can you not? Woo Go angels! Beat up those devils. And when you mentioned baseball, I assumed I'd actually get to, you know, play. Goodness, no. Such responsibility is a punishment, not a reward. I, myself, am terrified of balls. Uh. Woo! Another home run for the angels. Good really does triumph over evil every time. Indeed, my good friend. I wouldn't want it any other way. Ugh. Can I get another hot dog? At least you got hot dogs. Not that I really like hot dogs, but... What's up, random neon? All the veteran neons know it's a fool's errand to try and win. I just spend my time in hanging gardens, sitting under a nice tree. Okay, you keep doing that. Yeah, there's like those random characters that you can talk to. Wow, only two levels. I just don't really see many opportunities to talk to them. Well, well, no, wait, there's plenty of opportunity to talk to them, but I just always forget. Damn, we actually found it. The third temple. Didn't need no stupid page anyhow. Not with my holy guidance. <laughs> Bow before me, dumbass demons. I am your king. God's touch really changed you, White. You're starting to sound just like the believers. You're just jealous. Maybe a little. No sign of Violet, huh? Doesn't mean she isn't here. We should be prepared to fight. You don't think she's already run off with the book? I'd imagine his grace would have pointed me elsewhere if that were the case. I guess this is it then. The culmination of our efforts. Daunting, isn't it? If I'm being completely honest, I can't help but feel a bit envious of all the other Neons. Just out there, completing their missions. Seems a lot easier than this crap. It makes sense to feel that way. We've been blindly following orders our whole lives. Now, we're taking control of our own destiny. Damn right we are. Alright, holy ground, third temple. There's a green gift here. Makes sense. No sound, you say? What? Uh-huh. No sound is... Well, I guess there's some sound, it's just... Okay, it just took a bit to kick in. We made it, though. Uh-huh. I probably should have stomped there to get down faster. Uh-huh. Well, this is certainly a crazy platform challenge. There's not even any demons here. Weird, right? Huh. I mean, I, they did say the place was deserted, so I suppose that makes sense. I just expected, you know, some demons. It's a very long little series of uh, platform platforming challenges, though. Boom, boom, boom. Huh. Yeah, this reminds me of, like, the side quest levels for each of the characters more so than anything. That's what it makes me think of. Okay. Yeah, I mean, things are happening. Uh, what's down here? 
Um, I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. I saw red run over here. I just wanted to check out what the deal with that was. So yeah, we go over here. I'm going to get a horrible time for this. This is not a good one to get a horrible time on. God, it's such a hike. There's not even anything really crazy happening. I'm basically just walking and occasionally interacting with things. Uh-huh, so now we jump down here. God. Wait, I'm like not even being timed for this, I just realized. Is this just straight up, just walk to the end? Wild. Not what I expected. Okay. Stomp. Uh-huh. Hello. Okay, well, this is different music. Uh-huh. Not bad. Okay, no. Yeah, we were still being timed. I, I thought there was, like, a timer on the screen while I was, you know, playing. I don't know where I got that from. Okay, but, uh, so I do need to do that slightly faster. If I hadn't messed around, it probably wouldn't have been that hard. Okay, well this is an incredibly long level, so I'm not gonna show people me slowly walking through that again. I think I'll look for the gift, and then if I find it, we can see what we're doing then. There it is. It's down there. Okay, the question just becomes now... How do I get over there? I mean, I guess if I just jump right here, we can get there. That is a big ring. But now the question becomes, am I actually going to be able to do this? Do I need some things for it, or... Hi? Oh! Oh, there wasn't like a little platforming challenge to actually get to it this time. I just jump into the level. Okay, weird. I imagine this is going to be where both of Green's final memories are, right? Yeah, we're going to again and again all this garbage. I know, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. It's probably links to the training that White got from Green. Because, you know, like saying again, 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 and all that stuff makes me think of like training. And we've seen them training together and they always mentioned how... Green was always trading with white, so... I'd like to find some more out about their relationship. Luckily, these green levels are not too difficult, which is quite a surprise, honestly. Still shocked that these are, you know, the easiest, basically. Vi's were, by and large, the hardest. Alright, let's go turn this in, I guess. Eat help. You're like right. that, that weird, weird coin. coin. All right, hit me with the memory. Let's see what we got. Neon green. There you go, friend. All right, hit me with it. What you hit me with your best shot? Getting slow, green. Your old bones catching up to you. Keep wasting your breaths, and you won't have enough to outlast me. Want to bet, Grandpa? Gotcha. Now, now. Don't be so hasty. Gah! Ow! Ow! Jesus! Green, stop! What was that? Let go! I can't hear you. Come on! Ow! Crap! Don't make me beg! I would never make you do something you weren't already willing to do. Ugh, you freaking asshole! Okay, you win! Please, I'm dying here! Since you asked so nicely... Ah, Jesus, you play too dirty. I can promise that no one you face out there will be as merciful as I. Yeah, yeah. Alright, again. Give me 15, my legs feel like they're gonna give out. No, no breaks. Again. Yep, this is exactly what I was talking about. What the hell, seriously? Dead serious, I want you to be good and ready for the heist. Wait. You say this is an easy score, that we probably won't even run into blue? We probably won't. That rat bastard has lived a life of uninterrupted luxury for so long. He's likely forgotten the existence of any ghosts keen on haunting him. Why are you working us to the bone? This is more than we've ever prepared for any of our other jobs. This is different. It's personal. 
All our clients, clients pay us to get our hands dirty, resolving their conflicts. They don't realize revenge is a dish best served by your own two hands. Red was talking to me about how most people usually wind up forgetting what caused the fight in the first place. Eventually, all you're left is holding onto, the, onto is the feeling. Red. Red. The hell does she know? This isn't some petty drama between high school girls. Uh, uh, rude? How could I ever forget the man that took everything from me? Built yourself back up real nice, though. Put together a pretty golden team. Even nabbed me. Aren't I worth more than any golden blues coffers? Closure. It is a priceless reward. Closure, eh? So once you rob old man blue, that's it? All those years he's been living in your head rent-free just don't matter anymore? So long as I get the last laugh, it will all be worth it. Think so? I guarantee it. Now. Again. Okay. Well, I'm interested to see the conclusion to that now. So, continue the mission. No! I wanted to go back to the other one. Damn it. No. What is this place? It's horrible. I wanted to get the ace there, damn it. Perfectly preserved massacre. Yeah. You don't suppose these are all pieces of God, do you? I mean, I'm imagining so. It would make sense. That hand is enormous. Do you hear that? Hear what? Show yourself! Right, look. That hand. It's opening. Something's floating down from inside it. The? Oh. <sighs> the hand of God. It's the Book of Life! Holy crap. This is it. No way! Is it? <laughs> We found the Book of Life. Where's Vi? Uh, of course. Run! Ah! Oh, Indiana Jones shit? No, not Red. No, 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 no. Red's like my favorite. Red! Hold on! I'm coming for you! Ah! No. Yay! I did it! I finally blew up that stupid Red! Damn you, Violet! <laughs> Violet? There you are, Mr. White. Thank goodness you came to bring me my book. That stupid hand wouldn't open for me no matter how many explosives I set off. It only opens for those it deems worthy. Believe me, I've tried many times before. Okay. <clears throat> So this answers a lot of things. One, Violet's about to get shut down by Green because she's going to find out that Green won't care about her no matter what. And two, this is why Green was obsessed with us in particular here and saying that he needed us because we're the only ones that are apparently worthy enough for God to open up to. I guess we'll find out about why that is in a second. Green! Green! Violet. What have I told you about playing rough with White? This traitor! All he talks about is how much he resents you! After all you've done for him! He was never planning to share the Book of Life with you, even though you're our leader! But look! Now I got the book, while White is squirming beneath my feet like a worm. Here, take it! You don't need him anymore with me by your side. What do you say I punish him for you? Then we can rule over heaven. Just the two of us. Oh, this is not going to go well for you, Vi. <laughs> oh, Violet. So young, but already your mind so wicked. You think you've proven yourself worthy, have you? My sweet... Sweet girl. Even God himself denied you. Ooh. <laughs> yep. I was about to say, like I said, Vi, it's... This is not gonna go well. I mean, I expected another death, and I was thinking Violet could be the one. I was just slightly late. or er, slightly early. Why? 
<coughs> I... I did everything for you. You know better than either of us that the heart wants what it wants. And, well, I just have no intentions of losing my white. Yeah, I mean, he... He cares about white more than anyone else, so not sure what you expected. Violet! Don't know why you need to kill her, though. You could have just told her, hey, back off, but okay. You still cry out for her. Even now, it's not her fault that you poisoned her. You taint everything you put your hands on. <laughs> oh, perhaps you are right. You've always had such a soft heart, White. Malleable. Only calloused when I made it so. Yeah, it is unfortunate with Violet, because I, I feel like she probably would have been a bit better off if she hadn't been, you know, pulled in by Green, basically. But that's precisely why I predicted God's hand would open for you all along. Hard to believe his clenched fist was all that shielded the book from the believers, and later from me. It's funny. I waited so many years for you to bring me this book. And despite all your kicking and screaming, I knew I could count on you in the end. Delusional. I didn't do crap for you. Oh, but you did. Try as you might, you can never untether yourself from me. Who do you think left you the page? What exactly is your plan here, Green? That's what I've been wanting to know for a while. To take down the Believers. I wish not only to be freed from their control, but also from their hypocrisy and judgment. Red and I want the same. To restore heaven to what it once was. No, no. You misunderstand. Restoration is just a changing of the guard. We'd be leaving our judgment in the hands of God instead. Okay, so you want to kill the believers and God, or rule heaven yourself? I... That's where it's supposed to be. What exactly do you seek from God, boy? Forgiveness? A meaningless concept. Union with his holiness? Unlikely. <sighs> what the hell do you know? You think we will be rewarded after all we've done? We are both past the point of redemption. We were set up to fail in a world of suffering that he created. Okay, so you're super pissed off at God for not helping when the world sucked. Makes sense. We made our choices. God had nothing to do with it. I don't know why White has such a what? What's the word? Um, a, a, an attachment to God? Like, why are you defending God so hard? We know nothing about God. But I, I mean, Green's pretty evil, so I'm guessing the logic is, well, Green's super evil. Maybe God's good, and the believers suck, so God's probably good. Can't you see? We never had a choice to begin with. God cursed us to a meaningless existence and an even more meaningless afterlife. Yet, he sits upon his throne, writing our names in his book of forgiveness, as though that makes up for the pain we've endured. Has he ever once considered whether we forgive him? The believers could only kick God out of heaven with the book of death, but once I have both books at my disposal, I will annihilate it all. You think hating your own miserable existence gives you the right to destroy everyone else's? You see it as an act of destruction. I see it as an act of mercy. Yeah, classic nihilist villain here. So you're just going to destroy everything. It's not even that you want to lord over heaven yourself. You're just like, no, I just want it all gone. Huh. Then you're no better than the believers. I'm not letting you leave here with that book. Oh. And just how do you plan to stop me? By doing something I should have done a long time ago. Ooh. <laughs> you wish to duel. Well, who am I to deny you? I won't tell Red if you don't. You won't be able to say a damn thing with my sword down your throat! Okay, let's, um... Let's go, I guess? Well, I it would feel weird to, to stop now, so... Uh, I guess we gotta keep going here. Uh-huh. Bang, 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 bang. Wait, what am I- Oh, no, I missed one! Down there, I guess? 
What, what did, I, did I walk right? I did. I walked right past it. Okay. Okay, so we gotta keep destroying these stupid things. Huh. Oh. Boom. Got it. Ding ding. Oh, already almost dead here. We're not doing super well. Yeah. Boom. Okay, give me that. Yeah. Ow. God, you annihilated me. Okay, well, we can do a little bit better here at the start this time. Uh-huh. Not take as much damage here. There we go. Boom. Boom. I'll come out, come out when I feel like it, alright? You just calm down. Let's go, we got another boss fight here. That is very neato. Okay, I don't need the HP yet. Bang, bang. Alright, yeah, run away. That's right. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna grab as much ammo for this fireball as I possibly can. There we go. Uh, good stuff. Uh-huh. And boom. Alright, we're beating you up. We are certainly doing it. Gotta stomp you. Uh-huh. Ow. Oh my god, managing your HP on this is hard. Okay. Yeah, we really gotta keep an eye on our HP. Normally, I don't really have to worry about my HP that much in levels, but in this, I definitely, definitely do. So we gotta keep an eye on that. Uh-huh. So... Let me shoot those. Okay, you didn't hit me there. Alright, we did some damage. Gotta make sure I grab all this ammo and everything again. Alright. Boom. Whoop. Uh-huh. Alright. And let's let's start stomping. I think stomping's the best way for me not to take damage here. So and that's what this is all about. Not taking damage. And boom. We did get clipped there. Okay, but we got more HP, so. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh-huh. Okay, more HP. Don't need that, though. Um. Okay, I guess I want... Up here? Die. Thank you for that HP. Needed. Okay, that's the final one right here. Oh wait, no, I need to dash to it. Okay. Boom. Ow. Took damage there. Don't like that. Okay, where's that HP at? I need more. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, HP. Thank you. What? Behind me? Wait, where is it? Oh, I, I saw the line right there, so I was like, is that where I'm supposed to go? But no, it was not. Eat it, dork! Oh, I did- okay. I didn't grab the HP, but it's fine. This is a long level, jeez! This thing is going on forever! My god. Okay. I can, there's, I can probably damage him more often, right? Like, I'm missing opportunities to actually damage you. Okay. Oh. Okay, there's my HP. Go ahead and grab that. Uh-huh. Where are you taking me, green? Jeez. Ow. It's fine. Uh-huh. You like that? Work. 
Boom, boom. God, what a long level. Okay, nothing. I didn't take any damage, so we're good there. Boom. It does feel kind of cool to just kind of plow through everything with uh, the rockets here. Uh-huh. Just don't get hit. Bing, 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 bing. All right, now we're going up here. Uh-huh. God, what a nuts level. Ugh. It's going to be so rough to keep redoing, though, to get the best times. Because it is so terribly long. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, destroy those. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Where are you going now? Oh my god. This is like a five minute level. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, I lost the thread there for a second. Uh huh. Give me that. Okay, you're, you're visible now, right? Um, oh no, you have way more chilling right there. Ow, it's got clips. Need that HP. Boom, boom. One more. Bang, 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 bang! No! What? Okay, you have like one HP. Boom, bang. Did I not like optimize properly there? Like, have I, did I miss some shots on you at some point, so it left you with, like, one HP when it shouldn't have? Thing. Uh, don't need the HP. Okay, that's the final one. Jeez. Okay. Five minute level. Oh my god. Five minutes. The gift is findable. There's no gift in the level, though. Wow, I have to optimize so much. I think I'm going to complete the mission. And I'll come back next time and get the ace on these two. Because this episode's too long, and I want to see the conclusion of this. It's over, Green. Yes! Lay the final blow upon me! Is this just what you wanted? Yes! The Halo is destroyed! I thought that might be what you wanted, like you were being controlled by the Halo or something? Or the Halo just restricts you in some way? Maybe now you can fight back against the Believers where before you were being controlled? I am free at last! <laughs> you see, White, it's just as I say. You are so hardwired to aid me. But you will do so without me even needing to ask. You put that goddamn halo in the path of my sword. I didn't do anything. I shot you with like 50 rockets. How did I get destroyed then? Silly boy, don't be so humble. If I remember correctly, you were the one who chose to fight. Now the believers will be rendered helpless as I take their beloved book of death and begin my own day of judgment. Yeah, so the Halo was probably stopping you from fighting back against the Believers in some way? No! Once you come to your senses, White, you're welcome to join me. I wonder why you couldn't destroy it yourself and you needed someone else to do it. Maybe there's something in there that makes it so you can't take the Halo off or destroy it yourself. And that's why we needed to convince White to do it. Half the credit is yours, after all. No! No! Get back here! I won't let you go! Bastard! Green! You ungrateful bastard! I won't lose! Pitiful fool. You've already lost. I have made my choice. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I realized? We both chose wrong. Ooh. That's a shot, and that's a line! <coughs> oh, the book. Crap. Oh god, that's the book! <laughs> oh no! 
The crap is right. Not bad for a dead Is guy, red okay? I don't know. Is is red okay? I'm so confused. Wait. Wait. Huh? Attention, Neons. We are in a state of emergency. Former champion Neon Green has been overcome by his sinful nature. He has stolen the Book of Death. He has even gone so far as to murder my beloved comrade. That's fine with me, actually. The lives of many more believers are being lost to Green as we speak. He is destroying the sanctity of heaven. Uh, nice to know Green is enjoying himself. There's one completely intact book. Any Neon who slays Green and recovers our book will be awarded to, uh, no, uh, five years in heaven. Can't you just detonate his mask? Not without the Book of Death, you absolute buffoon. What about God? Why can't he help? Unholy scum, open your eyes. There is only us, the believers. What? What the hell are we even doing here then? Screw this. The Believers can't control us anymore. Where are you going? You must eliminate Green. Are you not enticed by heavenly delights any longer? No, those are kind of blue. Wait, wait, don't go. Don't leave us alone to die. Bye. <laughs> Later. I'm more smug about these assholes getting their just desserts, but this feels pointless now. All right, episode 11, thousand pound butterfly. That's a big butterfly. One day until judgment. Oh yeah, things are looking great. Things are looking great. <laughs> okay, and yep, yep. So Violet did totally, absolutely 100% die. That is confirmed. Red is fine. I saw red falling into like a pit. So I was like, is red okay? But no, red's fine. Violet, though, super dead. Okay, well, I saw that coming, so... Alright, we need to end this episode off, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Neon White, and I'll see you next time for some more.